Hello, we are Dan and Mike, That's and we're us. here to help you with your online fitness business in any way we can. Um, it's not that bright in here, I'm just wearing a hat because I got some hate in the comments about my uh, hairline. No, you didn't. Yeah. Did you? On YouTube shorts, didn't I? Shut sure. up. Being so far back that it wants to be away from me, you know, all that. That yeah. wasn't you. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man's hairline even wants to get away from him. Yeah. Brilliant. That's, that's that, isn't it? So that's yeah. why I thought I'd wear a hat because I don't want to get hate for my, for my hair. Nothing I can do about it, to be fair. Yeah. But yeah. You do your bit then, mate. My bit. Oh. Right, he's stolen it. Copied it. Copied content, would you believe? Oh. Come on. It's Stephen Bartlett. Uh, don't, don't tell him who it is. That's just share it. That's it. <laughs> uh, share it. it. Well, no, no, no would, he, 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 watch it. he does, Yeah, he does, them. yeah, that's it. Yeah, he, it. who's he fooling? Like, oh, really yeah, you know, I hope nobody's watching. Well, I bet you do. Like, yeah. no, we hope loads of people are watching. Yeah. Share it everywhere. Yeah, they're not watching. We can see they're not watching. So share it with people, please. It's still not <laughs> so because more people watch it. Come yeah. on, you must know an online coach that would benefit from this. No, you must do. Yeah. Um, on that note, let's do a little bit of a call to action in there. Always do calls to action. Always do. You can't get mad because so, you know you should be doing them. There we go. What should we do? Call to I, what action. I want people. What I want you to do. Members group. What I want you to do right before the members group. Before we get into that, right? What I want you to do right now is take a picture of this on your phone. Take a picture of us on your TV because you should watch it on TV because it's better. Screenshot and tag us in it, saying that you're watching it and who you're watching it with, what drink you've got, oh. and what you've picked up oh. by the end of it. Not right now, because you haven't picked up nothing yet. Do that. Let's do something about the members group then. That members group. Yeah, join the members group. It's real good. So It's really good. It is really good. And um, basically, I think the best way we can market it as it's everything you'd get in the mentorships that cost you 10 grand up front, except for nine, four ninety nine pound a month. Yeah. Uh, only better as well. Probably. Plus a magazine. And you get your magazine as well, which you get a magazine. is worth £100 as it is. As it is. So, so I think yeah. that's everything. That's, that's the CTA's done, isn't it? Yeah, really? we've got another one. We've got an event. We've got that one. We have got the event coming out. Don't know yeah. when this is coming out. Then. Seventeenth of June, the event will be. There you go. In Leeds, um, so in Leeds, it's going to be. You know. Yeah. You, th these will already know because all of our YouTube watchers are people who've are people in the members group. Yeah. So. so this is, but yeah, but if they've done what they should have done and shared it with shared someone it. who's not in the members group and who's a coach, they'll have benefit from it. There you go. Because I know you just shared it with your mate, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, up to this point, there's no reason to share it because there's zero value. But we're about to get into that now. Yeah. So. There you go. Do you even need to be a good online coach no. to be an online coach? No. Funny that, isn't it? It's weird. You'd think, looking at the uh, standard of the industry, that, that, uh, that you don't, unfortunately. But uh, Mike had a very interesting I did, I did, I did, I did. It was... Uh, not his mum. It's not his mum. <laughs> no. They're not interesting. Same old story. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, n another one, another mentorship. A year. Uh, two different mentors. A year he'd been... He'd been Probably knows quite a lot. I'd have thought. I'd have, I'd have thought if you've been at it for a year, two different mentors, you coaching should be pretty at good. At it, yeah, should be pretty good. So uh, I was, I was chatting to him on the on the consult. Um, and you weren't reading off the script though. I wasn't reading off the script. Him. That sounds a bit. Seems it, a bit it, it wasn't. It wasn't a closer. It was me. Okay. It was. It, I I turn up. I turn wow. up until AI can take I over. I can't believe for you me. turn up during calls, mate. That's a bit. Or I could have a stunt double, or you know. I doubt it. Do you have? I yeah. Well, I know. Yeah. You know, finally, I'm so jacked. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> you got anyone who could fill in for me? Turn up to these things. You know, I have to turn up to these. No, but I was, you know, shock horror doing my own sales call. Of course, I was. Um, I turned up. Sure, wasn't reading off a script. Uh, novel way of doing it. Um, and yeah, he'd been in a, a mentorship or two different mentorships for for a couple of years. And um, the the advice. So I, I like I like to I, I like to get to know what other people are giving out. Obviously. And the advice was make more reels and uh, send more DMs. Uh, that is gold. Um, good advice. I'm going to tell you this now. If you join the members group, you will not get advice like that. No. That's, um, that's, we do that Actual for useful stuff. <laughs> we yeah. actually give that for free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so he'd, he'd been told that, and which obviously I, I was I was laughing at a little bit. Um, and Professional, uh, Professional sure. You know, <laughs> on a sales call, so it's <laughs> fine. Um, and anyway, I, I would as well. I said, so look, if by some, and I literally said these words, um, if by some miracle you uh, you sign up 10 people today, how do you coach them? How, how are you going to coach them? You know, trying to get a gist of his onboarding. And he was like, um, well, I'll probably send them the, the plan after, after the call uh, and then drop them a message in a couple of weeks. And I was like... Are you, are you are you serious? I was like, I like, where where's like where's where's your where's your programming? Like, where's your assessments? Like, what 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 are you sending them out? And he was just like, oh, just just a 
like a bit of a plan that I send to everybody and I just text them in a couple of weeks. I was like, so let me get this straight, mate. And this is, uh, I say no fault of his own. I, mm. I, I would I would say some fault of his own. I, I will say that. I will say that. Um, but most coaches just give out what they've been given by their coach because yeah. most people have had a coach previously, haven't they? Yeah, that, that's the thing. He, he'd he got he'd got a few one-to-one clients um, in person. Uh, a decent number, actually, uh, in person. So he he obviously knew how to coach in person, but I think he'd just never been given the resources or tools to, to, to start online coaching. I actually don't think he genuinely knew what online coaching was, and yet he's trying to be an online coach for a year. Um, so, like, it was... Begging the question that I was like, so there's there's absolutely no process, there's no flow, there's there's nothing. I was like, so you've been in two two separate mentorships for a year. The last one, you're paying a thousand pounds a month, and they don't even know if you can coach. They don't even know. They've not even asked you. They've not even spoke to you about onboarding. They've not spoke to you about how you're going to check in with them. He was going to check in with a text in a couple of weeks. I was like, so let me tell you this: when someone comes into us, you get assessed. You'll get a lifestyle questionnaire. You'll get a nutrition assessment. You'll get a training assessment. You'll get your pictures taken. That lasts for a week. You'll then get a plan written and built. You'll get an onboarding video where we talk you through your program. And then on a week-to-week basis, you're also going to get another video update every single week where we're going to help you make manipulations, changes, help you around socials, um, see how your training is going, help you with any stress, sleep, um, social matters, so on and so forth. And then we're going to be on hand as well to text you whenever you want. That's what our coaching is. Not important. Not important, yeah. No, I don't need that. Uh, and and look, and it's just one of those things that just reiterates once again that in these mentorships, it's all about make more reels, jump on trending audio, more fucking that high protein shops or whatever we'll get onto that in another video i'm sure um send more dms or get your, get your va to send more dms or whatever um but with absolutely no recognition of anything yeah. in terms of coaching so there's, there's two things i want to say, add to that so the first one is that when our clients join one-to-one we've got our playbook which is a literally a course that teaches people how to be a coach. Gold dust. Like, like literally point one is go through this. Like, the, like that's a standard because every everybody should be at that level, right? That's number one. That's, that's, that's a plug. Number two is that the thing that frustrates me is that there are very, very good coaches out there who go who actually go too far with their onboarding and actually go too far with the amount of detail and accountability they give their clients. But they're too scared to promote themselves online. They're too scared to market themselves online. They still don't feel that they're good enough yet. That's what you're up against. That, that person is probably sending more DMs than you. They're probably doing more reels than you because they've been told to. Admittedly, they're, they're paying the, for the accountability to do it, right? But this is what I find so frustrating is that I deal with so many great coaches that I know put in front of 30 people would do an outstanding job. The problem they have is that they will not put themselves in a position to be in front of 30 people. And that's often what we have to help with a lot of the time is that they'll come to us and go, I want to improve. Before I start marketing myself, I want to improve my onboarding. I want to improve my coaching. I'm like... Do you give a shit about your clients more than anything else? Yeah. Trust me, you're well ahead of the game just by doing that alone. And it's just not spoken about in any, any, any of these mentorships. And it's why I hate, I hate it when people say to me, um, what's, it, what's in your mentorship or what, what's, how's your mentoring work? Because I just don't like calling it that. Yeah, like, it's no, it's no, it's no, there's no like, I'm not having a go at anyone because it's just what you would call it. But I, am. I believe it's like business coaching. I believe what we're doing is business coaching because it is important that you're coached to be good enough at your job before you can then turn it into a business. I genuinely believe that. I think that there's not enough people talking about it and what we do and how we do it. It may take a little bit longer to see the fruits of your labor. It may take a little bit longer to get those clients through the door. But I tell you what, once you get them in, you'll get the result and you'll be very, very good at your job and you'll give a shit and you'll be industry leading when you do it rather than just when you get into someone, yeah, just uh, just just send more DMs and do more reels. For, well, for what reason? Because you can't help these people. You can't get good results. You can't make them better. You're not a very good ambassador for the industry, in my opinion, if, if that's the way you're doing things. Well, you're an ambassador for the hotel. Yeah, there is, well, I mean, it's not my <laughs> shift, so. Um, <laughs> oh. Through, yeah, almost, I phased you. <laughs> yeah, I phased me. Um, yeah. Uh, is it character based? Because if it is, I should probably do it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. That's you know, Basil Fox. Um, but I, and I think that, that that's lost on a lot of people. And it's why, look, like you've said this before, I think, is that we'll never be someone's first yeah. mentorship. Again, we won't be. Because 
I think people get get bought in by the the flashy stuff, by the, the the numbers, what people are saying, how easy it is, how simple it is. And because they don't go for the coaching first and they don't have to help them with their coaching, they may see quicker results in the short term by doing some quick things that they probably haven't done yet up to this point. So they will see that initial spike because people are ready to buy from them. There are a few things available, but that just then dies off when people realize you're a shit coach mm-hmm. and you're not posting any social proof. You're not posting any results because that is king in all this. Like the amount of coaches I get and I'm like, right, you need to talk about your social proof. Don't have any. Okay, why don't you have any? You're a great coach. You've done all these qualifications. Well, I just don't really like uh, posting content. I'm like, right. Okay, so you're the other end of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. And this is the problem is that most people in mentorships are going for that end of the spectrum, which is just, do you want to make money real quick? That's the thing. That's we, what... we're, not that, we're not like that because what we preach is a long lasting business based on amazing coaching that will see you slowly and steadily build up clients rather than what's being currently sold, which is that you get this big spike and then you just see this downward fucking trend. Yeah, I think... I think... You just need you just need to um, ask yourself the question of why you got into coaching. I think that that I would I would ask people to to, to think about that, and I would like to think that the majority of people are getting into coaching because they they want to make a difference. They want to uh, easy easy life. They want well, you know. easy. Um, I like fitness. I like gym, so it's easy. But <laughs> they they want to they want to help. They want to you know they want a decent career. And we've said this before, where when we were. I guess coming up in the industry, the people that we would look up to were good coaches. Um, and we would learn from them and we would be researching nutrition, training, trying to um, further our education and, and, and refine the ways that we were coaching people and get better at it. And we brought in video updates. I don't, I don't want to say that we invented it because I don't think we did, but I don't know how many people were doing video updates. Like, because we, <laughs> mate, we've we've been and gone in fat loss coaching, yeah, <laughs> in a space that some people still aren't doing them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, um, it was all about being the best coach, and because of that, that's why I think that our business is where it's at. Well, I saw I saw someone who's who's moved into the business scaling shit and all this sort of stuff. I saw a video his done my explore page, uh, recognizable chap, um, saying that um, a check ins shouldn't take twenty minutes. It was he was basically saying like, the whole check in process should be streamlined. And he was like, it shouldn't take 20 minutes. You're, you're a bad coach if you take 20 minutes or whatever. It was all this crap. And he's basically saying, I oh, should be done in five minutes. You can take in all these hundreds of clients. And I know for a fact, he's a really, really bad coach because I've got one of his ex-clients who told me what he was like. Um, but it was just fascinating because we would say, well, they should take that long. Like you should be providing more than, than other people. You should be doing it that way. And like you said about the video check-ins, it's, it was one of the things for us that made the results just go from where they were to like compared to everyone else's when you look at them that's, that's the thing and, and nobody's nobody's coaching this so like with us we we recognise that obviously there's a place to get qualified as a PT you know uh, on the gym floor but there's actually nothing that helps coaches set up run get results with an online coaching business um, it, it is just you get qualified as a PT and if you want to go online you go into the, one of these mentorships and it's just sell 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 and like, I just, I just don't think it, it stands the test of time. I just, I just really, really don't. You're going to get a few people successful. Um, of course you are, but you're going to get a few, you're going to get the same few people being successful regardless of what information you take them because mm-hmm. they've got the following, it's just the right time, they, they look the part or whatever, or they connect to their audience, they click. So you're going to get that. But for the large majority of people, creating reels the same as everybody else doing the same VA DMing as everybody else, how long does that realistically last? So back to my point where you asked the question of why you actually first got into coaching. Was it to be the best coach, to change the most lives, to get the best results, to be held in high regard within the industry, or was it to create the same reels as every other coach, be told to sell, 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 be told to try to make people cry on the phone, um, and be high pressure, pushy, seal, uh, sleazy, and salesy. I think that the majority of people want the former, not the latter. Yet the latter is what seems to be selling more, you know, more people into it. So I would just encourage people to think about why they actually got into the industry, and that's probably to be a better coach. So if it is, I would learn from somebody who is encouraging you to be a better coach. Have the right systems. Have the right setup. Have the right coaching experience. Get the best client retention, places less stress on your lead generation that way, also builds better client relationships, uh, better community. Your business will stay around for longer. Again, with us, we've we've been around for fucking ages. 
Because, too long, baby. Too long, baby. <laughs> because, because, because of the coaching, because of the results, and we th- and we still do it. I had a I had a call today with one of my clients who um, he he's with me for for fat loss nutrition training, but he's also a coach and he's in another mentorship. Um, Can we call it that? Mm, <laughs> no, probably not. Um, and I got the insight on what he was doing and stuff and what he'd been told to do. Maybe we'll cover that on thing, on another video. Even hanging, that's another video. you got you got to subscribe for that one. Yeah. That's, no, we'll put that in the members group. We'll put that in the members group, yeah. Yeah, for that. yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> oh, but it's laughable. Um, and I just said, um, bear, you know, other than the, the laughable stuff he'd been told to do, honestly, you won't believe it. Um, the guy, obviously the mentors, distance himself and it's all these performance coaches. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm, giving that way too much because I think everyone calls yeah, it performance does that, coaches. Yeah. Everyone performance, does, does that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was like, everybody else is using these performance coaches. Every mentor is using performance coaches, which is all well and good, but you've signed up to learn from the top dog, surely, because of what they've done in, in fitness or the, their career or their business. But now you're learning from someone who has got no proven track record that has probably needed to be in the mentorship or other mentorships to learn themselves. So now what makes them qualified to, to help you become a better coach or build your business? And I just said to him, we would never go down that route of handing everything over. I don't think I could give away the contact time with clients because I feel like that that's what they're there for. They're there to be coached. They're there to be brought on as a coach as a business owner, um, to get better results with their clients. And I just wouldn't feel right having someone pay to, no disrespect, to get the monkey and not the organ grinder. Like, so even to this day, we still believe in good coaching because we're still we're still practicing what we're preaching. And I don't know how many other people are doing that. I think they try and remove themselves very, very quickly. But I think that's also the advice that they get given. And I, and I think that they, they see it as... They're making a, they're making a business for themselves when, when they do that. I think that's that's another argument I suppose that's just thrown at people around online coaching and stuff like you know it's not really a business if you have to work in it all the time. Um, I see that. But well, that's fucking about, bollocks like, because you I got know. into the industry to oh, to, yeah. to uh, do the actual coaching yeah. and now you're willing to fucking palm it all off. Yeah, and that, that's the argument I've seen as well about people hiring you know VAs and setters, closers, whatever you want to call this crap. And it's just like, why would you not want to outsource bits you don't like? And, and like we've talked about previously, you know, it's like, well, yeah, but if you've got 15 clients, it's probably not the best use of your time. And we'll talk about this on another video as well. Um, we've got all this stuff written down. This is the first one we're doing today. Um, again, of like actually knowing how to do these things before you pile them off onto someone else. But I was want to finish on this is that the other thing I would say about, about what we do is that because we go through the principles of coaching and then business and all this sort of stuff and what you're trying to achieve, is that I see a lot of stuff at the moment that is geared around reels, DMs, right? And that the, these things that you get told, right? What happens if that just went away tomorrow? What would the strategy be? Whereas with us, it's like, yeah, Instagram is the tool you use as social media, but actually what we teach is find the right platform for you and your niche. And, and for most people, that is Instagram, obviously, right? But you can still use Facebook. You can still use LinkedIn. You can still use Twitter. Like I've got a client who just literally gets all his clients from Twitter. And the principles that we have in business haven't changed because he's doing that. The advice we give is, is slightly different and what he needs to focus on is slightly different, but he's still having record months on month on month, making 16, 17 grand a month from Twitter. And when he first came to me, his actual goal, he was like, oh yeah, I want to build up my Instagram. Yeah, I was on Twitter, he was on like 40,000 at the time, followers. He's like, I want to build up my Instagram, build up my following, get more clients. And I was like, no, just double down on Twitter. Why, why would you do that? You're doing really, really well on this. So he doubled down on it, got up to 80, 90,000 followers on Twitter and he's got double his clients. He's about to quit his nine to five job. So you kind of go, that's what we would teach someone in these situations. Whereas how would these other people mentor him? Because he can't do reels and DMs because he's on Twitter. It's completely different. And that's the thing that baffles me is like, what happens if that was just wasn't around? What happens if video and photography wasn't a, an important part of this on social media? It was something different. It was emails. It was just solely emails. Well, what, what we talk about still works pretty damn well you can't get a va to to dm people on email list <laughs> do you know like and that's the thing that i i would say what when people look at what we do and hopefully like you said about standing the test of time what will make us different in the long run is that we teach people stuff that goes across all different platforms and it's just about having a really good solid coaching business that you can use across multiple different ways the 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 best business builder is being the best at your job like Hundred percent. How many how, how many things do you use every day that is a shit product, but because it was marketed really really well, you keep buying it? 
You don't. You don't. You use it once because it marketed well and then go, oh, that, was, that was shit. I'm not going to do that again. It's what, what is it? You, you'll only buy dog shit in a can once. Michael Harrison. There you go. <laughs> quote. That's the quote. That's the. You know. 2021, that one probably. Yeah. A long time ago that came <laughs> yeah. out. Um, but it's, you know, it's, they buy cheap, buy twice, all that sort of stuff, yeah. isn't it? To, to a degree. But it, I think that people. I think that that's not as true anymore because I think people spend a lot of money and they get they get duped by by marketing. But I guarantee you now people only get duped by it once. Yeah, and that's why people, you know, you talked about before about how we're not always going to be the first mentorship or place you come. I hate mentorship, but we won't. We'll probably be the last. It's this whole thing of like a lot of our clients have been stung before. I'm cool with being the last. So yeah, a lot whatever. of people have been stung before. A lot of people come to us because they've been stung. Them people will be. We'll go to other people first probably. Um, and like I said, we're okay with that because we know that we're not the most attractive. Well. I mean, I don't mean like that. I mean like as in most attractive package because we haven't got a package. Um, literally, there's nothing there. Yeah. Um, it, it will always be the, the second choice. But when people do that and they fall for it, they fall for the marketing and then they realise that actually we speak kind of quite a lot of sense and we're not going to, you know, well, uh, yeah. force you into it. It comes across as us slagging things off, doesn't it? Which again, probably another video and it is another video. It comes across right. as us slagging stuff off. But when... Just oh, just, just, just saying there's a different way, really. Yeah, just that there is a different way that, because that counts we've done it. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I almost like people, not to get burned, of course not, but I, it's almost like that competitive element of me likes having someone from another mentorship. So I'm like, okay, now we'll show you how it should be done like that I, I kind of like that because uh, also as well I think the expectations on them are, are low <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know it is isn't it no I'm joking uh, not really um, no not in that sense but like you know we've had people come in and they go oh my god straight away within two weeks oh my god like didn't think I'd get this didn't think I'd get that uh, yeah that's just the standard mate you haven't had a check in yet um, you know so it, like like we said it's, it's about being really really good coach first and foremost and like I said in terms of client numbers it's about slowly, steadily rising over time. And like I said, our, our, our clients, I don't think on, on paper necessarily compared to some other people's are going to like, you know, have break records or, or, or look kind of more amazing or, or anything like that. But they'll stand the test of time. They will stand the test of time. Yeah, look, I mean, I don't, I don't, e I don't even know if that's the case. Like I've got, like you've just said there, you've got uh, a guy doing 16, 17K. Like, but that will be recurring for good because he's a good coach he's got the foundations in place they saying 16 grand in one month they saying 16 grand cash collected this is when we when when we ever talk about numbers which is rare this is what they've gotten to every single month mm. not one month and then died off because he sold a few up, up from packages like we we're getting we're getting people through who are earning a lot of money like a lot of money um for for coaching but maintaining it mm -hmm. and it not being sporadic and it not being on uneven ground and it isn't based on volume of send a thousand DMs to get in three clients this week. Are they a good fit? Who cares? Take the money. They'll drop off in two or three months. Shit, didn't get another you're result. You're success coach is coaching them. So yeah. Them like, at least with ours, they're getting 30, 40, 50, 60 clients, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 grand recurring. And that's the way it stays because they're getting results. I, I would take that any and day. And then looking at other products that they can add on top of that that doesn't and doesn't make them just a you know check in machine basically, um, which again I, I don't know many of the people that do. Um, we've got other things that we've done again like come back to that client on Twitter like he sells digital products and he's one of my very few that does because most of them aren't in a position to do that and, and it's not recommended as much. But again, the way he does things, his audience, his niche, his social platform, it lends itself to that. Um, but anyway, before we go and bore you to death even more, I think it's that's a long, the uh, that video. long, long time, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's why we think it's, it's important to be a good coach because I think it lays the foundations of, of what you need. So um, yeah, look, if you um, if you are a good coach, right? By the way, I'll finish on this: if you are a good coach and you your clients tell you all the time that you're a great coach and they say you're amazing, but you feel like you don't have as much social proof as you think you do or you should have, message us, one of us on Instagram. The word, what's the word? BB wins it is BB wins and I'll we'll send you the video from the playbook about how to show off social proof that isn't just before and afters of your clients if you only have a few or you have them don't want to show the before and afters you can get video testimonials in a great way so send us that so there you go there's a CTA for you always do that um, and we'll leave it there so now I know if anyone's watched till the end unlikely no given these views um, but yeah I hope that was useful and um, share it with everyone that's it